Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 15th, 2024. Well, my goodness, we had quite a day yesterday with a big zooming move, particularly led by tech, as um, we saw NVIDIA make new record highs and becoming the most valuable company ever to uh, be in the stock market. So let's take a look at what happened last night. First off, we had Asian markets that were mixed last night and mostly lower. Um, we had um, a miss in some uh, data in China that um, sent China's markets a bit lower here, disappointing September trade data. Uh, pushing things lower here and so we had Shanghai falling 2.53 percent and that also triggered Hong Kong which is that tech heavy sector down 3.67 percent India was down however South Korea was up slightly and the Nikkei had a pretty good day up 0.77 percent and Australia also up 0.79 percent um, at the end of the day. If we take a look at European markets this morning, well, we have kind of a mixed look at the at the market here this morning with the CAC down 0.74%, FTSE's down 0.58%, and the DAX is up 0.32%, largely um, reacting to earnings and, of course, oil and gas data uh, that is continuing to fluctuate here quite a bit. If we take a look at U.S. markets here this morning, well, we're fluctuating here as well. Pretty much unchanged right now. The Dow futures, as I report this, is down $20, um, but it's been bouncing around between positive and negative. NASDAQ futures are just slightly higher, and the, um, excuse me, the S&P 500 futures are just slightly higher, where the NASDAQ futures are down this morning. And of course, waiting on you know, uh, big bank reports and things like that to be rolling in this morning. As a matter of fact, we just received the Bank of America report here. Bank of America trying to push up here um, right at the moment. So that report is just coming in. Let's take a look at um, our bonds here this morning. Our bonds continue to be a problem, I think, for the overall market. We have the two-year bonds at 3.95%, the 10-year bonds at 4.06, and the 30-year bonds at 4.36 this morning. So continuing to be that issue here where those rates are going up, adding additional pressures to the market. And as we are so very, very bullish in the market, something here is going to have to break eventually. We really can't see, uh, or at least I can envision, a situation where our, um, our, our rates are going up, our bond yields are going up, and the market racing up at the same time. Something's got to give. Let's take a look at um, other things here in the market. Oil this morning continues to be a little bit lower. If we take a look at XLE, pushing on down here, driving pretty sharply lower here this morning, down $3.86 a barrel at um, um, down 5.23% in the pre-market. Um, that's a $69.96 a barrel as some of those demand concerns come in after China's data. We see Brent also showing us that same thing, down 5% or $3.80 a barrel at $73.66. And natural gas continuing to fall after a strong day uh, to the downside yesterday on natural gas as those demand concerns and slowing consumer really begins to have an impact here on energy. If we take a look at precious metals this morning, well, we've got GLD. GLD showing a little bit of move to the upside. Gold futures right now are up $4.40 an ounce, and you can see it really wouldn't take a really big push to push us through record highs here in gold. 
so holding in a beautiful pattern there keep an eye on that silver is just slightly higher here today but certainly not in as bullish a pattern copper platinum and palladium are a little bit lower here today and after a zooming move in um, cryptos yesterday bitcoin settling back just a tiny little bit um, only down 289 dollars a coin after being up over three thousand a coin yesterday with our dollar surging as well ether uh, down this morning eight dollars a coin after being up sharply yesterday and there is a little bit of a mix with litecoin being up this morning if we take a look at our u.s dollar our u.s dollar strengthened pretty sharply yesterday continuing to move up so again um, providing that concern here in the market that our well, things may not be just as happy as the market wants them to be at the moment. We'll just have to keep an eye on that. So what does all that mean for the day? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain a little bit of information about how we might want to approach the market for today. And remember we want to look at these charts without a bias. We want to look at them for what they are, not for what we want them to be. So first off, we've got to look um, right here at the bullishness here in the diamonds. This nice little rest and consolidation that came out to trend really found that surge to the upside here for the bulls and what is concerning for me is yesterday we continued to surge up on lower than average volume but continued to stretch and you can see this morning pre-market we're trying to get something done here today a little bit of back and forth and we can see just a little bit of heaviness here in the market after that surge so if the bulls can continue to find that inspiration to run to the upside well certainly there's only blue skies above up here um, there's no restriction to the upside if we can find that bullish inspiration. It's to the downside that we would have to be watching pretty closely. If those bears were to become inspired today, well, pushing back down, you can see there's a little bit of price support in here. Pushing back down into there, if that were to break, then I would suggest we would come back. We might be testing some areas right in this area, and of course that upside trend as support. I don't think the market would have any kind of major concern with that kind of a pullback here in the chart, or even if it rested sideways, I don't think there'd be any major worries there. What would really start to raise some fear though is if we were to fall hard enough that we were to drop through um, that trend and start breaking down below some of the support in the chart that would raise some concern if we take a look at our spy SPY also very very bullish here in the market this is a very bullish pattern running in here off a trend so every reason to believe that can continue we'll want to be watching that pretty closely you can see just a little bit of hint right in here that they're trying to get something done this morning to continue on up blue skies up here anything above here blue skies above no restrictions to the upside if the bears get something going here maybe a push back down to test some price support down into here would be the first area beyond that i would suggest we're probably going to start coming back toward this trend and price support area in the chart right in here holding in this area i don't see any problem at all as a matter of fact if we were to just consolidate sideways out here just kind of do a choppy resting pattern here that would be really healthy for it as well um, where things would get a little bit squirrely is if we were to push hard enough to the downside that we would break this support area here and that possible trend. And I think if that occurred, we would see a little bit of fear coming into the market. And again, the only reason I talk about that the way, that way is because of the situation with the bonds. The way things are set up right now, something truly could break pretty quickly. So what I would suggest is we continue to extend to the upside, stay with the trend, Make sure you're raising your stops and be really, really careful about over um, over trading to the upside, chasing too many stocks to the upside in case that slip or that stumble in the market were to occur. If we take a look at QQQ, 
QQQ, very bullish. Pushed on up here yesterday. We tested up here in this resistance and the chart didn't quite hold on to it. You can see that little tiny, tiny bit of bearishness here in that this morning, trying to push back. So if the bulls can find inspiration here, we've got some work that we can do. Uh, pushing up through here, then we would start reaching up toward these all time highs. And I think there's every reason to believe that could be happening. There, There is so much. Um, hype on AI. I mean, incredible hype on AI, just even though it doesn't make any money yet, um, so much on it that there is just that enthusiasm to continue to buy that to the upside. So even though we're kind of stretched away from our trend here, I wouldn't rule out the possibility that they're going to push and do everything they can. Get all dressed up and not quite make it, to, make it to the goal line doesn't seem like this current market. So I would look for that potential to occur. However, if those bears were to find some inspiration here in the market, push back, there's a nice little support right in here. We could just rest back in here. In fact, we could just consolidate in here and there'd be no harm, no foul in that trade. Part. Breaking down below this area here, we might get a little bit of worry coming in if we were to pop down and come down into this area, but I don't think it would be any particular worries unless we were to push right on through down into some of these areas testing this upside trend. A failure of that trend would likely raise some fear. I don't think that's likely today, but something to be paying attention to. And then if we take a look at our Russell IWM, IWM, beautiful break of this downtrend that we had here in the chart. Now remember, the first part of these moves is, is always important to break those trends, but now we need to prove we can hold it as support. So if we were to get any bearish action here today and pull back, we'd want to see a test of support and hold in this area. If at um, in worst case scenario, we would pull back into here and test this area, but we want that to stay as a higher low here in the chart. What we don't want to see is that big stretch like we had here, big stretch up and then reverse. So watch that carefully here in the chart. Prove that you can hold a higher low and then we've got something bullish going on in there. If the bulls can, can continue to find that inspiration here today, you'll notice breaking up into here, we need to stretch on up and hit these highs that have been really problematic for us here all the way back to July. We just haven't been able to get through that area. If we can, then we're up here testing these highs, these high level areas here back in 2021 to see if we can break on through toward those new record highs. Now watch that closely because um, we still have that potential if that pullback were to get severe in here and break through this area back down, I would be a little bit concerned um, if that were to occur, but I don't see that happening today. If we take a look at our um, VIX here in the market, our VIX, pulled back nicely yesterday and finally we're starting to get some of that relief but all of those indexes if you noticed in the volume they were lower than normal volume um, here in the market so let's keep a close eye on this we're below 20 handles in the VIX but notice we've got this price support in here that we're going to need to break break to the downside if those bears can um, or bulls can break this on down into here we'll start seeing that relief and that worry starting coming out of the market and then I we would probably feel a lot more comfortable on the bullish side if the bears however were to find that inspiration here remember we still have that possibility that we could create that higher low in here and breaking through this resistance up here would really start to raise some fear in the market and that would be those bears coming in for a little bit of a, a, a bite to push us lower so watch that closely one of the reasons that we have to be a little bit concerned about that possible bear is our t2122 is pretty darn elevated here at the end of the day yesterday you can see we're back up here in the bearish reversal zone 
of the market as we continue to stretch and push yesterday. So keep an eye on this. If the bulls can find inspiration here today, every reason to believe with the earnings that that's possible, then we've still got some upside opportunity here. But remember, T2122 will never go above 100. It can't do it. It's a ratio of new high, new lows on a four week basis, and it'll never go above 100. So anytime we're up here, we have to be watching for that potential of that profit taking wave, any kind of stumble in the market. And you can see we've got a big open opportunity to the downside. So hopefully those earnings come in as strongly as the market hopes for, and we can continue to see that push. Because if not, there is an open door if those bears get some kind of scent of some concern. So watch carefully there, raise those stops, stay with the trend, raise those stops, but start to be watching for that potential profit taking wave. If we take a look at our T2108, T2108 had a good day yesterday, but not a great day. Again, volumes are a little bit low, but pushed up nicely here. You can see we're well above our 50% area here in the chart. So that's a really good sign. Percentage of stocks above the 40, back up here around 59%. Testing some resistance levels in the chart. And of course, we could easily push on through here with some good data today, pushing right back up here to some of these recent highs. You will want to remember once we're up here in the mid 60s here, um, up toward the mid 70s, um, we are in a very extreme overbought situation and then we tend to pull back. So watch that closely. T2107 is uh, has those mid areas up in the mid 65s. We get up in here and we struggle to go beyond that. It's kind of an ex extreme um, overbought situation. But right now, very, very bullish. Had a good day yesterday pulling up. We even broke this little downtrend here just slightly trying to push on through so we're in good shape bulls are definitely in control and then if we take a look at our t2101 nice little breadth increase yesterday but it certainly didn't reflect a massive move although we had big moves in stocks yesterday pushing up we really didn't get a major move in that breadth to the upside so keep an eye on that remember we're still in our blackout period as companies report about 48 hours after they come out of that blackout period, they they can begin corporate buybacks. So it's kind of like the we we've had um, um, a, a complete dark moon, and then it's starting to just slowly and gradually open up. So some of that light comes back in, and corporate buybacks can continue or begin uh, coming back up, and we'll see those breadth ray, uh, numbers start moving higher. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today and our economic calendar we've got uh, not much to worry about here today we will have an empire state manufacturing number you know we have ignored it for months i mean we were at new record highs even though our manufacturing has been in a terrible position we've ignored it so i can't imagine that there's going to be any change with this today with all the enthusiasm around earnings but we'll see um right now consensus is looking for a 2.7 so a positive number here at 2.7 but that would be a pretty substantial pullback from a 11.5 um, on the last reading so keep an eye on that. Um, we've got um, daily speaking, Kugler and Bostic speaking today. We've got a couple of bill auctions in here. And that's pretty much our day, pretty light day here. Um, as we look forward into Wednesday, also pretty light. We've got mortgage applications, import export prices, and um, that's what we got looking forward into Wednesday. It'll be Thursday where there'll be a little bit of um, volatility around all of this data and a bigger number of earnings reports. Speaking of earnings reports, let's take a look at what we've got going here for earnings today. Um, we've got quite a few to report on and remember guys, there is a link below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog. You're going to have to start to pay attention to that and remember that because um, 
there'll come a day here pretty quickly I will not be able to cover all of the um, earnings reports in the morning prep video won't be able to have time to do that and there'll just be a long list that we'll have to be watching for so first off today um, ACI reporting this morning keep an eye on that I'm just gonna run through these quickly BAC we just noted that it reported here it's trying to squeeze a little bit higher we're going to get a Citibank report today we're going to hear from Charles Schwab we're going to hear from Goldman Sachs we're going to hear from J&J PNC Financial State Street United Health and WBA will be all reporting today so keep an eye on those those are here before the bell watch that closely and then after the bell We've got um, FULT, HWC, IBKR, JBHT, OMC, PNFP, and SGH, and UAL. Those will all be reporting after the bell today. Those are the notables, so watch those carefully. And we're going to ramp up with more of those tomorrow, and Thursday will be a pretty large day of earnings. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today, but before we do that, everyone, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, and that would be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, that helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do that. I do truly, truly appreciate it and all the kind support. Thanks to everyone who shares these videos out on your social media feed. That helps an awful lot. And for those of you who continue to support the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link, you are truly awesome. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at a few of these stocks setting up. And remember, everyone, these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market and remember that anything is possible so that means you follow your risk tolerances your rules you should never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas so as we move through this morning boy there were quite a few stocks making moves yesterday to the upside really strong in places like peloton really punching through some resistance here blowing through i wouldn't want to chase this here but any consolidation rest or pullback could be an interesting thing uh, breaking through this resistance so it's certainly showing a lot of bullishness yesterday really liked what was happening in mickey d's yesterday beautiful upside move coming in here right off of my trend and um, uh, alert popping through there nice strong move and mcdonald's pushing on up and you can see this is blue sky highs in here mickey d's looking for some upside and i would um, expect to see maybe some follow through on this as well so keep an eye on that um, if you take a look at gilead gilead um, nice little resting pattern in here we pop through my alert as you can see pop through and then just kind of rested back coming back into trend i would watch this carefully in here for that next opportunity for that to push on higher here in gilead keep a close eye on that um, i really think shop has an amazing potential in here i've placed an alert across this entire area and watch that carefully for this push right along on trend shopify to break through this major resistance and maybe push up here toward all-time highs keep a close eye on that still uh, think Pinterest is looking very very good in here although it hasn't had a lot of momentum in it just yet this pop through um, right here and a little bit rest over back to the that trend I would watch for that opportunity if we can get bullish inspiration in the market I would look for that push to come through uh, to the upside you know when we look at um, anything in the tech sector um, right now um, lots of strength coming up into this the tech sector even from things like Google that have tons and tons of 
um, issues that they're having to work through here. But Google saw lots of bullishness yesterday. The question is going to be, can it break back through this area? Notice we've got an inverted head and shoulders pattern that would suggest if we break this neckline in here, we've got a pretty good upside potential. As a matter of fact, probably something along those lines on the breakout up here, which would bring us up into these areas of the chart. So I would watch that carefully if um, that does break out. However, we also have this complication of this long term trend. And if we were to get a failure here, I would watch this carefully. If that fails in here, that could easily set up a short in Google. So kind of a um, both sides of this um, that we have to be paying attention to. If we take a look at stocks like um, AMD, AMD, there's that problem again where we pushed up into those major resistance areas and then we start to get that little bit of fade, raises that concern in here. We're losing that trend, that possibility that this could start pulling back in here in that chart. Although we have that really big enthusiasm for upside here in some of these stocks, keep a close eye on those. There may be that possibility of a few short trades. If we take a look at stocks like SQ, anything in the financial sector has been pretty darn bullish and you can see SQ making that move stretching on up breaking through this resistance now confidently any rest or consolidation in here I think sets up the next opportunity in SQ I am holding this so I do have a little bit of a bias I'm holding this based on a longer term potential trade coming up in here so watch that carefully SQ looking good I'm also holding some PayPal and PayPal doing a good job continuing to rally. It has been resting in here. I would look for that potential rest, maybe even to extend over into the trend. But keep an eye on this. If we can continue to see these financial services find that bullishness, then watch for that upside move in here. I will tell you that I do have a little bit of worry about these as well with those rising bond yields. So keep an eye on that. Don't just blindly follow anything. Make sure you have a plan to protect yourself in case things start to reverse here in the market. Other charts that you might want to be taking a look at, take a look at Dash. Dash made that move. There's that nice little resting pattern here, pushing to the upside, pump coming right up here into this next area of price resistance in the chart. Wouldn't be surprised to see this rest in here just a little bit, but then I would look for that next opportunity to break through that resistance and continue that move uh, to the upside. So keep an eye on those. Other places in here that was kind of interesting yesterday, we had stocks that are more the defensive type stocks making some moves here. So KHC breaking through this downtrend, I wouldn't, again, I wouldn't want to chase it here, but any rest or pullback in that that holds a higher low would set up that next opportunity, I think. So pushing up in here, maybe a little bit of rest and then look for that next opportunity to the upside. Saw KHC, saw PepsiCo, saw Coca-Cola making some of those moves here in the defensive sector, which is odd um, right now, but pushing up pretty strongly here in those stocks. Coke making a nice move, and we even saw utilities making a move back to the upside yesterday. So watch those carefully. If they can hold those bullish patterns, there may be some more upside there. So with that, everyone, I want to, oh, you know, one more stock I thought I'd probably better bring up here. Uh, Gilead, uh, not Gilead, um, Corning. Corning, beautiful, beautiful uh, potential setup here. Breaking through that resistance and resting in here, it may have to rest out here toward trend. But look for that next opportunity here in um, Corning. Of course, this is going to be very impacted by how Apple reports. Corning supplies all of that glass for all those devices out there. Um, in fact, they provide the glass for almost all of the devices out there. So keep an eye on GLW for that opportunity there as well. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for those who attended the class last night. I hope you got something out of that. I want to wish you all the best today. Be careful, be safe. I'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have an awesome day, everyone.